In the last topic, we discussed uh, Hamilton canonical equations of motion. Today, we are going to discuss some of the applications of Hamilton canonical equation of motion. Uh, first of all, let us go towards the uh, a simplest example that is a simple harmonic oscillator. We are going to find the Hamiltonian of this system as shown in the figure, which is displaced from its mean position at a certain distance x and its Hamiltonian and its uh, Hamilton's canonical equation. So first thing that we are going to find is the Hamiltonian of this system. First thing that we are going to find is the Hamiltonian simple harmonic oscillator. So Hamiltonian of a simple harmonic oscillator uh, from our previous uh, knowledge, we know that Hamiltonian H of a system is defined as summation Pi Qi dot minus L. In this case, uh, Pi is generalized momentum, Qi dot is generalized velocity and L is the Lagrangian. We know that L is T minus V and the only uh, the motion is along x axis so there is only one degree of freedom so x is our generalized coordinate we can say that t is half m x dot square while v is the potential energy of a mass attached to a sp uh, spring is half k x square so l will become half m x dot square minus half k x square. Similarly, uh, the Hamiltonian will become h is equal to p along x axis, uh, let, me, let me say write it p i q i dot minus half m x dot square plus half kx square. Here pi is actually the momentum of this mass attached to a spring along x-axis. Similarly, qy dot is x dot. h is equal to px x dot minus half m x dot square plus half k x square. From Lagrangian partial L by partial x dot is equal to p x. This is from partial L by partial q i dot is equal to p i. So we can write partial L by partial x dot is equal to px. Uh, this will give us uh, partial L by partial x dot partial L by partial x dot will become uh, if we apply, apply derivative partial by partial x dot of half mx dot square minus half k x square. So this will become equal to mx dot partial L by partial x dot is equal to mx dot. This implies that our momentum along x component is mx dot and this will give us x dot is equal to px divided by m. We can substitute x dot in this equation and we will have h is equal to that Hamiltonian h is equal to px px divided by m minus 1 by 2 m mx dot whole square plus half kx square. So h will become the net Hamiltonian will become px square by m 
माइनस दिस इज ऑल्सो पी एक्स एम एक्स डॉट इज पी एक्स पी एक्स स्क्र अपॉन टू एम प्लस हाफ के एक्स स्क्र सो द नेट हेमल्टोनियन एच विल बी पी एक्स स्क्र बाय एम माइनस पी एक्स स्क्र बाय टू एम विल बिकम पी एक्स स्क्र बाय टू एम प्लस हाफ के एक्स स्क्र दिस इज द इक्वेशन फॉर द हेमल्टोनियन फॉर द टोटल एनर्जी ऑफ अ सिंपल हार्मोनिक ऑसिलेटर ओके सो दिस इज पी एक्स स्क्र अपॉन टू एम प्लस वन बाई के एक्स स्क्र द नेक्स्ट ऑफ विद नेक्स्ट थिंग दैट वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड लेट अस कॉल दिस इक्वेशन एज वन Uh, we have h is equal to p square x by 2m plus half k x square as our equation number one. Uh, as partial h by partial q i. Is equal to minus p i dot. This implies that partial h by partial x is equal to minus p x dot. So p x dot will become partial by partial x of p x square upon two m plus half. k x square p x dot will become uh, this term does not con contains this term does not contain x x so it is independent of x and we will have p x uh, here is a negative sign to minus k x it is hooke's law okay so let us call this as equation number Similarly, uh, partial h by partial p i is equal to q i dot. This will imply that partial h by partial x, uh, partial p x, is equal to x dot. So x dot will become partial by partial p x of p x square upon 2 m plus 1 by 2 k x square this differential will become x dot is equal to p x divided by m equation number 3 so 2 and 3 Are called Hamilton's two and three are Hamilton's canonical equations for a simple harmonic oscillator. Okay.